Hey, what's up guys? John here. What is unfolding right now in Aurora, Colorado is very well going to spread all across America. Gang violence at an apartment complex in Aurora. The video shows men entering an apartment building with several weapons and then busting down a door. People were moving out saying they were scared for their safety. This is how Cindy used to lock her front door. It's been a nightmare and I can't wait to get out of here. I'm going to show you this video a 4.1 million views, but also remember I called this five months ago saying that they're going to begin squatting and seizing properties. And this is, in fact, what's happening. But this you know, might sound like a shocker for a lot of people, but the real shocker is coming down the road when everything we know about this country changes. And that's what I'm going to break down for you. Look at this first. I mean, imagine, imagine you're sitting there by yourself and something like this happens. They're coming in a team of 10. Does it make sense to go against that? Probably not. No apartment's worth it. You can get your kids out of there if that situation ever happens. And I personally think we're going to start to see these situations continue to unfold when you look at what's happening to these cities. You know, for example, even, even Elon Musk issued the same warning saying that coming for your houses, right? Elon Musk said that migrants will, quote, come for your home after a video was shared to X of migrants being dropped off at a school in New York City. Look at this. It says, so am I getting this right? They create a housing crisis by letting in 10 million. Then big corporations buy up all the properties. They skyrocket the rents and then they're put on housing vouchers. And then who pays for the housing vouchers? Everyday American taxpayers will pay for the housing vouchers. But when you start to look at where everyday American ho households and taxpayers are, it's shocking. Tax revenues are plummeting because the job market is changing so fast. I mean, it's every single industry is issuing massive layoffs. The housing market is so screwed up right now. It's crazy. I mean, look at this, for example. Home sales are even worse today than they were in March of 2020 when everyone thought that they were going to basically pass away and unemployment rate was 20%. Now I'm gonna break this all down for you and show you what's about to happen next. Because I think we're walking into a big category five storm here in America. Please hit the like button, hit the like button, you can both share the content and to get more people about what's really going on in our economy, in our country. If you'd like to fix your credit, we'd love to help you at my company, greatcreditfast.com. That's greatcreditfast.com. If you have late payments, medical bills, charge offs, foreclosures, bankruptcies, repossessions, or any negative or derogatory items in your credit report, go to greatcreditfast.com. Click the link in the description just below this video. Schedule a free call for tomorrow. Check out the views on Trustpot. Take a look at this. And this look at this. I mean, crazy. Dollar General, you know things are messed up when they say that they can't do well because consumers are financially constrained. They sell products for a dollar. <laughs> they sell products for a dollar. So when you have 80% of Americans saying, you know what, fast food's a luxury, the Dollar General is plummeting, it's a uh, U.S. corporate bankruptcies are soaring above pandemic era peak, then you have state personal income taxes decline 13.2% in normal terms, in nominal terms, in the calendar year of 2023 compared with the calendar year of 2022. And you know, tech layoffs, you know, teacher layoffs, it's across the board. You're seeing even restaurant layoffs picking up, freight layoffs, construction jobs plummet 40%. Now, here's the big, the big reality we're walking into. If cities are mainly funded by property tax revenue, both residential and commercial, and income taxes and state and you know city taxes, if those taxes are falling and commercial real estate values are plummeting in some cases 50, 60, 70 percent, especially in cities like Denver, Los Angeles, San Francisco, Philadelphia, New York City, Baltimore, when these values crash, what does that mean? It means tax revenue is going to fall. Well, if tax revenue is going to fall, there's going to be more demand for social services as people they have a harder time surviving. If that demand is also coupled with an immense supply of new residents, you can imagine we're walking into a tax crisis, a deficit, unlike anything we've ever seen before. Now, these cities are presently on the top list. You have California, Colorado, Connecticut, Illinois, Massachusetts, New Jersey, New York, North Dakota, Oregon, Rhode Island, Utah, Vermont, and Washington. And you have I would argue probably somewhere around 150, maybe 200 cities in America on that list, maybe more. 
um, where they're going to be essentially accepting new residents. And so when you have this scenario unfolding, and then you're looking at this situation, I mean, Newsweek reported on this, saying that, you know what, we'll give $380 million for towns that take in new people. It came out yesterday, right? $380 million. So if you have all of these towns and cities and all these locations that are financially just starving, they need money, and then you start seeing offers like this, you're going to bet some of these towns are going to take that money. What alternative do they have? And that's going to continue until September of 2026. Now, what I think could very well happen is I'm betting that we see a lot of really wealthy people that live in cities. They might start opting in for maybe moving out a little bit, 30, 45 minutes, an hour from the city, getting a little bit of land. I think we could start seeing more demand for gated communities. I think we could see private security uh, companies start to really, really be in demand. I think we're going to see a lot of this as we start seeing people being pushed in to hard times, uh, really hard times. I mean, they're saying that this, I mean, look at this. They're saying it spills into quiet suburbs from the sanctuary city next door, right? This is what would happen. Now, what they say here, and I actually was, I was in Denver about two months ago, a month and a half ago, and interviewed some people and really kind of learned what I could. This happened, you know, three, four weeks after I left. Um, but you start to see how the money is flowing. It, they're getting, they're getting a, a, a basically a free ride, you know, free education, free shelter, food. Um, they're, they're basically put into a path of finding a job. It's a really, really good situation for a lot of people that are coming here, right? But a lot of these, uh, you know, new residents are coming from a harder world. They're coming from the El Salvador's of the world, the Venezuela's of the world. You know, these countries where they know a lot of hardship and they've come here for a better life and they're gonna do what they have to do to achieve that better life. And as we walk into the winter, it's gonna be real cold in San Francisco, in Denver, in New York City, and if they don't have shelter, they're gonna take it, most likely. I mean, that's what I would probably do if I were put in that situation. I have a two-year-old or a three-year-old, we're not sleeping outside, right? And that's the same thing that I think is gonna be going through the heads of a lot of people. I mean, look at this. This is what they reported on, saying that this agency also warned that they could team up with them. So basically like a, a joint venture, so they can cover more ground, they can accomplish more. Um, and this is who is uh, essentially taking over the buildings in, um, in Aurora. So it's a, it's a big, big concern. The biggest concern that I have of all of this is that if the budget gets cut for them, for people that need it, that have just come here, because you think about what that means. If the food cuts off, if the shelter, you know, becomes harder to come by, if all of these, you know, perks and things they were promised go away, it's going to be a free for all. You know, it kind of reminds me of what Ray Dalio said. Ray Dalio made a statement in 2022, Business Insider, every mainstream media outlet covered this. And Ray Dalio, for those that don't know, CEO and founder of Bridgewater and Associates. 2013, he was the most successful hedge fund manager on earth. He's worth 20, 25 billion dollars. He's plugged in to sources to give him probably top tier information. He's not getting information, you know, third, fourth party. You know, it, it's, he's getting it directly from the source. He said it's very likely we're walking into a civil war. Saying that in 2022 seems a little far-fetched. Saying that now, look at what's happened in the job market, look at what's on happening and unfolding in Colorado. It looks like we're moving in that direction. Now, when you see what they did in, 20, in uh, 21, February, they said, of 2024, they said, Eric Adams slashes funding, right? He's slashing funding. Then you see Denver saying, you know what? We're posing 45 million in cuts to the city to fund this, right? Well, they're also saying that they put 180 million. It's basically costing the city 180 mil. And that was in uh, February. Then two months later, they said, you know, they're gonna spend another 90, right? So they're gonna basically spend 270 and they're adding more and more and more costs. So you can just imagine, you just use your imagination. Cities that really need money to handle this. Congress recently gave them less. It's looking like we could be walking into a situation here. And I believe what they're gonna sell everyone is that the solution is to tax the rich and to go after the rich, right? 
and really, really go after these really wealthy people to solve this problem. I don't think that's going to do it because rich people have great attorneys and tax teams and they have shell companies and offshore asset protection trusts and, you know, they're, they're, they're rich for a reason. They're smart. They're not going to write a check of 25% unrealized gains most likely every single year on, you know, their stocks. They're going to find a way around it. And so this might be a carrot that gets dangled as a solution to pursue the rich. But I just have one question. When have we ever seen in American history the rich paying their fair share? Since 1776, 250 years. When? We've seen stories and conversations about, you know, we need to increase the taxes on them. But every time that there's some new tax plan, the rich capitalize on it because it generally hits the middle class and the lower income levels. And I believe that as we see this job market fall apart, commercial real estate values likely continue to sink as we have 2.7 trillion in commercial real estate debt that needs to get rolled over from now until 2027. And you start to look at all these problems, you'll realize that America's walking into a, a pretty dark chapter, most likely. And I think it's a chapter in which pays to prepare for it. So if you're sitting in high interest rate credit card debt, if you're sitting in any type of situation that you shouldn't be, now's the time to try to find a solution and a way out of that. Because as times get harder, the more room you have to move, the wealthier you're gonna feel, because you're gonna have more options. What do you think about this entire situation? Where do you see all of this going? Do you think that this video right here is the end? Or do you think that this situation is very well the beginning? It's only three months until winter. These cities, they're gonna get really cold. Let's have a conversation about this below. And if you'd like to fix your credit, we'd love to help you at my company, greatcreditfast.com. That's greatcreditfast.com. If you have late payments, medical bills, charge-offs, foreclosures, bankruptcies, repossessions, or any negative or derogatory items in your credit report, go to greatcreditfast.com. Click the link in the description just below this video. Schedule a free call for tomorrow and check out views on Trustpilot. Catch you next video.